Welcome to a video from digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Redstone 5 build, 17618 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring using Skiphead. This is the first build that's generally available that uh, using something called sets. So what sets? Well, let's have a look here. I've got File Explorer. You've noticed I've got another tab. I've got a Facebook tab on there. And I can open another tab. And let's say I want Notepad. So I can do Notepad. Ah, I didn't do control, didn't hold the control down, so it's opened a new window. So let me try that again. If I hold down the control key, I think this is currently a bug, it's just mentioning it in the release notes. So there, I've got notepad there. Let's um, go to a website on this one. And I've got File Explorer there. So I've got a full, what's called a set of applications. So, Notepad, it's a bit clunky as you switch between them, but that's because it's a development build, but it, it works. So let's say I open OneNote. There you go, so I've got my OneNote tab, and I open another tab there. And on this tab, um, I want a command prompt. So there you go, I've got OneNote, a blank tab there which I can put a website on, and I've got a command prompt. So that's another set of, that I'm working on. So that could be, um, I guess, any application, Visual Studio or whatever you need to use, Word, Excel. So I guess you could have one uh, set for, for say, maybe Office working, one set for social, then you could have the Twitter, the Facebook apps, and browsers browser pages, you could have a set for doing development, a set for doing Excel work, and so on. So you've got these sets, and effectively you've got tabbed browsing, uh, or tabbed file explorer, or whatever you ch you choose to have, there's file explorer, and I have multiple tabs on that. I did find file explorer, particularly it's one that I had trouble opening uh, on the tab basis, and Microsoft's release notes say, hold down the control key, so holding down the control key, I click File Explorer, and we'll see if it does it. So yes, it flicks back to the other one. I have seen other people doing it, so it's, there's still a lot of bugs. So if you have used sets before, the, the difference is this now supports Win32 apps like Notepad and Control Panel and PowerShell. Um, but there's some handy tick, um, keys you can use. Control Win Tab to switch to the next tab. Control Win Shift Tab to go to the previous tab. Control with T opens the tab and control windows uh, W close the tab. Uh, you can't drag and drop these uh, tabs around currently um, th and you can't move them between working sets which would be really good but um, you know that's that's development you know they're still working on that and as you've seen as well it can be a bit it flashes sometimes switching between the tabs uh, again it's early days they're still working on that but it's great to see it and uh, there is a setting for it, so let's go and have a quick look. So I go to uh, System, um, Multitasking, and there you can see I've got um, I've got the options on there. So good to see. So that's new in this build, and I really like these idea tabs. I'm going to be playing around with them uh, last night, and and they they work really well. Uh, you can see how they're going to work anyway. There's still issues, but you can see how they work. So what else has changed in this build? Well, um, if you're a Windows Mixed Reality build uh, user, I would avoid this build. You get the problem that was actually common to the Redstone Four a couple of builds ago with frame rate issues. Uh, so I would skip that one if you're. Uh, and mixed reality users. Other than that, there's uh, they fixed issues with like three, four finger gestures. They fixed some UWP apps. There's a lot of minor fixes in these. Some of these carry over from the Redstone Four build as well. Um, there's still an issue with potentially with the store, although um, it's been fine on mine here. Um, if you do get the problem, there's a PowerShell uh, option to to repair it, and that was an issue on the previous Redstone Four builds as well. So you can see how they've they've sort of perhaps um, split off, so you know the Redstone 4 builds are now getting stable, and these are getting more new features, so you can see how they branched off from the previous couple of builds. So those are the changes, but I do like this these sets. I think it's interesting. It's a very different way of working with Windows, 
Uh, I'm going to do some more playing around with it. So thanks for watching this video. More on the digitallifestyle.com and you catch me on Twitter at isdixon.